channel it's me Jamal the Gerson the Gerson <laughs> the Sandok sentient but <laughs> but anyways first things first the weather here in Virginia has been getting a lot colder and with that it's pretty inevitable because it is November and should be co getting colder but that also means that cold and flu season is coming and for today's video I wanted to provide you guys three recipes in fact they're just drinks that are immune boosting, super delicious, super yummy, and could be, you know, recipes that you could implement into your daily life because I firmly believe in preventative care and treating the cause and not the symptom because we should be crowding out these unhealthy habits and crowding out unhealthy foods that make us prone to illness and disease because, you know, you should be living your life thriving, being the best that you can be, and not being stopped by the obstacles of a snotty nose and a sore, a sore throat because ain't nobody got time for that. And you guys deserve the best and you guys deserve to feel the best. So this is what I want to provide you guys and share the knowledge and share the light. So yeah, let's get to the video. That's what it's called. <laughs> We're gonna start with the Ocean Elixir. You can take a 16 ounce glass or bottle just like this and fill it about three fourths of the way with coconut water. To the coconut water, we'll be adding half a teaspoon of organic spirulina. Spirulina is an algae renowned for its antioxidant properties, being anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, and being packed with nutrients such as vitamin B, iron, and copper. To this, we'll add one teaspoon of organic raw honey. Raw honey is antibacterial, antifungal, helps with digestive issues, and has as much antioxidants as most fruits and vegetables. Lastly, we'll be adding the juice of one lime or lemon. The vitamin C combined with antioxidants in limes provides support to the body's immune system, boosts metabolism, and contains compounds that help stimulate digestive secretions in your stomach. For the salapat, you'll need three thumb-sized pieces of ginger that have been roughly chopped. You'll need to add this to a pot or kettle of 16 ounces of water and let this boil for 5 minutes. This is traditionally made with brown sugar, but I decided to use a teaspoon of raw honey in order to increase its healing benefits. It's super important to add the honey after the tea has boiled in order to preserve as much nutrients and vitamins as we possibly can. You'll need half a cup of full fat coconut milk and eight ounces of your choice of any plant-based milk. The full fat coconut milk in this recipe is essential because it adds a touch of healthy fat and makes the turmeric more available for our bodies to retain and absorb because turmeric is fat soluble. You'll need a tablespoon of roughly chopped fresh ginger, a heaping teaspoon of turmeric powder, and a generous dash of cinnamon. You'll need to simmer this over medium heat for about five minutes. And finally, you'll add a teaspoon of whatever sweetener you like, whether it be coconut sugar or raw honey, just like I did. If you guys would like more in-depth information on these recipes, please check the link to my website that I provided down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next week.